Hello, who is lying about EV charging as well as gas, petrol and diesel filling up? But first, if you can like and subscribe, I really would appreciate it as I'd love to get to a thousand subscribers and get that 15p a month check from YouTube. The funny thing is, as electric vehicles range increases and are getting closer to the 500 miles, on one charge. I did see only a few days ago a comment saying I'm not buying an EV until it can do 600 miles on one charge. So I wonder if this number is going up and getting higher and higher as the electric vehicles range gets higher and higher. Also gas comments are it only takes me 30 seconds to fill up my car and the EV drivers say it only takes five seconds to plug my car in when I get home. So I decided to look into this as two years ago I had a diesel car and I can remember waiting in queues, waiting to pay, getting very frustrated and my recollection was that if you can go into a gas station and go straight up to the pump that's a good start and it doesn't always happen. So you could be waiting two or three minutes or longer before you can put your gas or diesel in your car. Like the silvery white van who had to wait 2 minutes and 20 seconds before he could start putting his fuel in his van and paying for his fuel in total including waiting, he was there a total of 7 minutes. So I don't think there was much waiting to pay. It was a quiet time of day. The blue car waited 4.5 minutes before he could put fuel in his car and took in total 10 minutes waiting, filling and paying for his fuel. So let's be honest, this was a gas station midweek in the middle of the day in a small Cornish town. It wasn't a holiday, so there was no exceptional filling up. If I went back Saturday morning in July, August, I know the queues would be long and extensive and much worse, but it wasn't. It was a very average, normal working day in the middle of the day. The silver car didn't have to wait, but he still took eight minutes to fill up and pay. Maybe there was a queue inside paying, I don't know. Now the record was held by a fleet white van who took only four minutes and 45 seconds in total and he didn't have to wait to start putting diesel in his van. My recollection when I had a diesel car two years ago was five minutes was actually quite a good time to fill up but I can often remember being in a line and waiting to pay for over five minutes and a total time of 10 to 15 minutes or more. The times I was monitoring was reasonably quiet. Now 7am you might go straight in and out and you could probably do it in three minutes but certainly not later in the day and potentially you could wait 15 minutes or more to fill up your car. So I would say the minimum you can refill your car is three minutes. That's not easy, but it could be up to 15 minutes depending on the time of day you get to the gas station. Anyone up for putting a stopwatch on from the time you get to the gas station to see how long it takes and see what the record could be. They used to fill GP cars in Grand Prix but it got a bit dangerous in the end, didn't it? So they don't fill them up anymore. Don't try this at home. OK, by comparison, EV drivers who get home sometimes say it only takes five seconds to plug into the electric while it charges overnight. It's the same at the Tesla supercharger, but it's not five seconds. It's probably between 15 and 25 seconds, depending on how fast you get out of your car. Obviously, there's no app to log into if you have a Tesla. And as far as waiting, I haven't had to wait for over a year at a Tesla supercharger. I did on one occasion over a year ago, but that was only one out of at least 50 supercharger visits. And it was about a three minute wait. And I chatted to other Tesla drivers, which was very nice as I hadn't had the car that long. And of course, there's nothing to pay at the end. You replace the lead. And drive off. But of course people say what about the time it takes to charge your EV? And the first thing I say is I'm not stood there watching diesel or petrol go into the car. I'm usually doing two things, either getting a coffee or going to the loo's. 
So I'm doing the things that I want to do. And if I wanted a coffee or go to the loo when filling up my car with gas, that would be additional time. I'm doing these things while the car is recharging and I'm not stood there looking at it. I'm also stretching my legs. The Tesla supercharger network is extensive, but then so is GridServe. They're in most motorway service stations and they're not just putting in one or two. They're putting in a dozen, a nice amount. And the main facilities of a motorway service station in the UK is close to the Tesla superchargers and GridServe. Unlike the gas station that is separate, usually on the way out. So again, while the car is charging, you can be visiting WH Smith's, Burger King, McDonald's. <laughs> Why would you want to? KFC. Yeah, like that, which you can do as you have to make a separate visit to the gas station and pay a premium price for your gas. It's very, very rare for me to have to wait for the car to finish charging at a Tesla supercharger. Normally, I'm having to rush back to the car because charging is almost complete. It is very fast. And Tesla tell me when you have enough charge to get to your destination or next charger. Tesla doesn't want you taking up space when the charging gets much slower as it gets close to, to 100%. For example, I can go to Amesbury Tesla supercharger on the way to Heathrow Airport or London and only need to be three quarters full to get home. When I get home, I will charge at a much cheaper rate, although Tesla supercharger is a very good price right now. I've noticed a lot of local public chargers are rocketing in price, with no good reason, as electric costs have come down. They're just being greedy. But Teslas are between 40 and 50p a kilowatt hour, and you can get as low as 30p in the early hours of the morning in some superchargers, but that's not going to suit everyone. Sometimes it's even a shorter visit with just a few minutes as the car just needs a bit of a top up just to get home. And there's hardly time to get a coffee or go to the loos. So the Tesla GPS sat-nav tells you where the superchargers are. So you don't have any planning to do. It might not be as easy with other public charges, but grid serve, you have to swipe your cards. So it may add 10 to 15 seconds, but there's no app to log into, which is great. It's also worth noting that not all gas stations are 24 hour, but Tesla superchargers are. And some of them, there's about 12, you can get electricity for as little as 30p a kilowatt hour in the early hours of the morning. What do you think? Please leave a comment below. Hope you can like and subscribe for future updates on this channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.